It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Days. Guys, last week I talked to you guys about what to do and what products you need when you get a dog. But this week I'm going to cover the essential toy types that you need for your dog. So let's jump straight into that. So guys, last week on last week's pup date, I gave you guys some essential items that you need when you first get a dog. Today I'm going to talk about essential toy types that you need to have in your life to make your life easy. So I have five categories that you need to think about, and let's start off with that. The first category that I have is interactive toys. Guys, these are toys that basically you don't have to give any input for your dog to play with. Now it could be something that shakes on its own, or something like a babble ball, or like this guy here that, that, that rattles. It could be pretty much any kind of toy like that that your dog, you know, gets interaction out of without you having to touch it. So these toys are great because it gives your dog something to do without you having to give input. So maybe you're busy in the office. Maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're doing whatever it is you're doing and you need your dog to play with something that doesn't involve, you know, them bringing you a toy or whatever. This is the kind of toy that you're going to want. I do suggest the Babble Ball Dancer loves his. Now guys, the second category of toys that you're going to want to have is chew toys. Guys, some dogs are chewers, some dogs aren't. But guys, if your dog is a chewer, you need chew toys, and I'll tell you why. If your dog does not have chew toys and does not understand, hey, this is something I can chew, they will search out things to chew. It could be shoes, it could be your bed, it could be your bed post, it could be doors, whatever it is that they, they search out to chew, they're not supposed to do it. So you want to have some kind of chew toy so that if they do get the urge to chew, they have something to chew on. It's that simple. Guys, my third category of toys that you're going to want to have is tug toys. Now, what do I mean by that? Basically tug of war. Some dogs just love having something that, you know, they can get that interaction with their human. It helps build up the bond between human and dog. And basically you just pull it back and forth between yourself. It helps them get exercise and, and build up their strength. And it helps build your bond. These tug of war toys are fantastic. It could be pretty much anything. Dancer has his monkey monk. And he absolutely loves Monkey Monk. So get some, some kind of tug-of-war toy. Now, guys, our fourth category of toys is outdoor toys. Now, guys, yes, if you're in a bind, you can use indoor toys as outdoor toys. But my suggestion would be to have a special set of outdoor toys for your dog. Now, this can be things such as balls, frisbees, uh, you know, soccer balls, whatever it is that your dog likes outside. But it should be different from what you have inside because... When they're outside, there's a lot of things they can get in trouble with. So you want a set of toys that's going to, you know, oh, I never get to play with this in the house. I can play with it outside. You want them to have that kind of reaction to it. So they're playing with that and not digging holes or doing this or doing that. So you want something different outside that not only is going to grab their attention, but also could potentially be a good source of exercise for them. Now, guys, my fifth category of toys that you're going to want to have is a cuddle toy. Guys, something with a face on it, whether it be, you know, a lamb chop or... A minion or whatever it is that you have that has a face on it something that has a face on it especially with younger dogs and puppies because puppies and younger dogs sometimes are comforted by the idea that you know something is watching over them they just they sleep better it's been a proven fact that you know they sleep better they do that kind of thing it works the same with human babies if you put something with a face in there they usually go towards that and they like it, it works the same with dogs so you want to have something that they can cuddle up with something that they can feel safe with that toy that goes with them to bed, they don't necessarily maybe play with it. Maybe it just lays in there with them and they like to have it with them so they can cuddle and snuggle up against it. You need that kind of toy because some dogs are very much cuddlers. Some dogs very much like that kind of thing. So that's our fifth category of toy. So guys, those have been our five categories of toys. And I do want to make a special note here at the end of this that you can be creative with this, okay? I know dog toys are expensive and right now there's a lot going on in the world you may not have the kind of money that, you know, I can't buy 15 or 16 toys, Mumbles. That's okay. I want to show you Dancer's favorite toy. I show it all the time. But it's one of his absolute favorite toys, and it is one of his outdoor toys. And we actually made this toy. We made it using a stick and a bungee cord type thing. And it's got a chew toy on the end of it. And he likes to stand there and jump at it and pull at it and do all kinds of things with it. And he absolutely loves it. It is one of his favorite toys. So what I'm trying to say here is, you can be creative if you have the ability to make something 
or maybe you can combine things to create something really cool for your dog, do that. There's nothing that says you have to go to the store and buy something. You can use your brain and you can make something. It works just as good. Your dog will love it just as much. Don't feel pressured to go buy something. You can use other methods. So guys, this has been our five categories of dog toys now. I'm going to go get the answer, but before I do, I want to ask you guys all, please, 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 if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel. Ring the little notification bell so you can get updates and drop a like on the video. Guys, I do dog videos weekly. You can see Dancer weekly and just know how much I appreciate it. Now I'm going to go get Dancer so we can finish up this video. Anyway, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Dancer wants to send his love to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the support. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons. And Dancer and I will see you guys all next week. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.